Once again, you were the engine early for your team. What did you see out there when you were hitting those threes? Um, I just wanted to be aggressive, you know, uh, within, my, uh, within myself, you know, stay in my rhythm, just be aggressive. You guys keep saying that you are playing almost two different teams, whether Bam Adebayo is on the floor or not. What is the approach when he is playing like tonight? Uh, we just got to uh, you know, be aggressive. You know, uh, we're attacking the basket. We've got to continue to attack uh, the basket, put pressure on the rim. Uh, also, we've got to be able to knock down the open shots when they uh, kick it out to us because uh, they are giving up a lot of threes, and we've got to be able to knock them down. Frank Vogel was very vocal at halftime in the last game, said he did a little bit of yelling, calmer today. Uh, <laughs> so very calm. Uh, but... Uh, you know, we're going out there, you know, we're going to play aggressive, you know, we're going to play all basketball, I know we're going to uh, defend, you know, get out and uh, play in transition, how we uh, basically Laker basketball. Uh, we're going to get this, uh, try to get this win. Thanks so much. Back to you, Mike. All right, Rachel, third quarter underway. One, one of the questions from the first half, guys, LeBron James, he seems out of sync. Well, there's no question. The turnovers, the point blank misses, but he wasn't the only one. Tyler Hero is shooting 34 percent from the series he's just there it's not just one guy who looks a little bit out of sync offensively and i know you talked about the lakers feeling good even because lebron hadn't put his impact on his game i think the other way if i'm the miami heat i'm feeling good where i am right now because the lakers have been they've been sitting watching game three for a while you thought you they'd come out with a burst of energy and put their stamp on this series. They have not been able to separate themselves from the Heat. That's a welcome sight for Heat fans. And Markeith Morris starting the second half instead of Dwight Howard. Robinson tied up, gets it out to Adebayo. Just joining us, Adebayo, after missing the last two games, he has shown no ill effects from that neck injury. He's now... And Coach, I'm looking at the Lakers. They want to get it going offensively. They're going to have to put together a string of stops and play with pace. Maybe get it going in transition, and all of a sudden it'll get easier. Nice ball movement here. Tyler Hero floats it up and throws it in over the outstretched fingertips of Anthony Davis. That's a tough shot. Green this time drives, throws it away, stolen by Butler. Crowder, step back three. Green off the dribble. Rifles a pass to Caldwell Pope. Morris connects. Marquise Morris from downtown. That's his second three-pointer. So got to get higher quality shots. And Danny Green back out to Morris. Morris has here on him, looking to post up, but misses, and Butler comes flying in for the rebound. Adebayo drives across the lane, stops, layup blocked by Davis. Butler wrestles it away, but Danny Green comes out of the pack with it. Great block by Davis. Davis has done a good job protecting the rim has just eight points as the ball is kicked so those can second block of the game for anthony davis james a long three-pointer nails it that's his first three-point attempt and it puts the lakers back up by one and that type of shot starts taking and making and i think if you're miami you don't overreact you got to give that shot up and good defense by the lakers off the turnover danny green throws it down butler tried to Distract him a bit, and the lead for the Lakers is now three. So much of the Lakers all season long is their defense forcing turnovers, getting in transition, getting the offense ignited. And the Lakers have struggled in the half court against the Miami defense. Butler's jumper misses. Davis back to James. James with a layup. And a quick timeout from him. I went to a prison last year, Tamorca Correctional Facility, where my brother taught a class. I think that is such a worthy thing to get those people reestablished with their voting rights. Terrific job by the Miami Heat. Here, here. 
So the three pointer, the fifth three pointer of the game for Miami. Back to two. Out of bio, guarding LeBron James. James tries another long three. That's good. LeBron James, a couple of three point bombs here in the third. And the Lakers go up by five. On the drive, Butler. Davis again alters another shot. He's now missed four in a row. Started five for five. Oh for his last four. Caldwell Pope back to James. Duncan Robinson on him. Drives inside, draws some contact. Well, LeBron James already more points here in the first six minutes of the third quarter than he had the entire first half. And look how deep Davis is going under all these pick and rolls with Jimmy Butler. Duncan Robinson gets a good look and knocks down the three. His second three-pointer of the game, the Heat back within three. His release is powered with his dribble penetration and attacks. And he may make some threes, and as you mentioned, you just got to live with some stuff as Davis hits a monster bucket late in the shot clock. Jimmy Butler was right on top of him, but Davis, a seven-footer, puts the Lakers up by three. He's now in double figures. Butler's got 14 points so far tonight. Butler gets it in, surrounded by Lakers, kicks it out. Kendrick Nunn can't hit. Kuzma grabs the rebound. But you can tell right now, Jimmy Butler has taken his foot off the gas pedal, not attacking offensively. He's also trying to get guys involved. And that's not going to put them in position to be effective offensively. They're at their best when he's attacking and other guys are aggressive. James, a three-pointer. They're going to count it or the whistle's out on Bam Adebayo. Kelly Olynyk back in. James wants it stolen by Butler. Lazy pass that time from Kuzma. Butler goes inside, blocked, but a foul. LeBron James upset with Kyle Kuzma on a bad pass, and Butler's going to shoot free throws. Second foul on LeBron James. Kyle Kuzma, that's a way to answer after a bad pass. Come down and hit a three-pointer. He's got eight points. Uh, the way he... Iguodala back in the game. None picked up by Kuzma. None step back three. Rebound deflected out of the hands of Butler, but he gets it back. Throws it Anthony Davis, shoots over Davis, bank shot, misses. But he's turning down good shots. He had an uncontested free throw line jump shot. Caldwell Pope up to Davis, a straight on three. Puts it in. Anthony Davis from downtown, and the lead is seven. This equals the largest lead of the game. It's been it's two of them. He's so funny. So in the penalty. As Rondo picks up that personal foul, that's his first. Bam Adebayo is going to come in. Just tuning in, Adebayo started the game. He's played 23 minutes, 13.6 rebounds after missing. I want to separate myself right now by putting together a run. Davis. Morris throws it right back to him. Megadala harassing defense. Davis misses, fight for the rebound, still loose, picked up by Nunn. Good, strong rebound by Kendrick Nunn. Olenek on the drive, runs, gets inside, and banks it home, and it's a one-point game. So good at faking the handoff, that time with a live dribble, and then uses his body to eliminate the contest. Rondo back to Davis. Davis tries another three. Caruso deflects it, takes it away from Nunn. And then is fouled by Duncan Robinson for Anthony Davis. Tyler Hero back in. Olenek finds some room. Fires away. Shot won't go. Davis with his eighth rebound. It's a tough shot. He was off balance. It's hard to sprint, balance up, and shoot a three. 
Davis puts it on the floor, drives down the lane, running shot won't go. Olenek the rebound. Davis slow to get up. Good job pulling it out. Let's make sure if you're Miami to get the last shot of this quarter. I'm not sure everybody's aware though. Olenek to Iguodala. Hero launches one. Off the mark, won't go. Davis, the rebound, and a loose ball foul with 4.7 remaining. Davis will go back to the free throw line. And that's exactly what I was talking about. Unaware of the score, the time, the clock. You take a rush shot. And Keith Morris is a very aggressive free throw rebounder. Davis perfect four for four from the line. Moore is trying to put some full court pressure to slow him down. Butler has time. Final seconds. Butler drives, stops, puts up a three at the buzzer. Off the mark. And that will end the third. Lakers.